Hey everyone, today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your OKP robot vacuum cleaner with the OKP app. It's a free app available for iOS and Android devices. If you're interested in this particular vacuum cleaner that we're using today, this is the OKP L1 with LiDAR navigation. This will be linked in the video description if you want to check it out. Now let's go ahead, let's get the app downloaded. So on your iOS or Android device, search the app store for OKP. You're gonna to wanna to download the app that looks like this. You'll see the purple box with the OKP branding in it. You can also scan the QR code directly on your vacuum or in the user guide to pull up the correct app to download. Once you have the app downloaded, you'll be prompted to sign in or create an account. Once you do, you'll be at this home screen where we can now add our vacuum. So go ahead, select the purple plus icon. It may scan and find it on its own, depending on your permissions, or you can just manually choose through the list and pick your vacuum. So in our case, it's gonna be the L1. Now we need to enter our network name and password. Keep in mind this only supports 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi networks. After entering your information, you'll be at this screen where we need to power on the vacuum. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna select next because we've already done that. Now we need to configure the network. So we gotta hold the start pause button for three seconds and release it after we hear voice guidance. Please connect to the wireless network according the instructions to the mobile app. So now we're gonna select next step. Now we need to connect to the robot's hotspot. It's gonna show up as Smart Life with a bunch of numbers, characters. Here's our network, Smart Life 63 ae Yours should look similar. We're gonna to connect to it and go back into the app. Now we're ready to select Continue to Add. And now it's gonna work on pairing the vacuum. Connection was successful. That took like 15, 20 seconds at the most. Now it's been added and we can give it a name. Currently they have it as Strawberry, that's fine. Let's select Put into Service. Here we go, we can get a nice tutorial now of the app right there, and everything has successfully been set up. Now let's take a second, let's dive into some of the additional features that we get with our vacuum. So select the big purple more features option, this will reveal your map. This is the previous clean that we have. So first option up, we can basically pick a cleaning area by point, hit save, you're all set and ready to go. Next we have our partition, if you want to clean a particular area, right? You can do that right here. Drag and drop, very simple. We also have our forbidden areas, so we can add multiple areas here. Hit save, we're all set and ready to go. That's great for rugs, cords, tangles, things like that. Then moving right along, you'll see our cleaning time, cleaning area, all of our different control options, start, clean, go back to charge, different suction levels, find the robot, our schedule, remote control so we can drive it around or have it return to home to charge. Upgrade, and then we have our additional settings here that go through product specific information as well as our map management. So we do have multi map support right here. So there's our map one, our current map. Then we can go back and then you'll see we have our records. This has now been populated from some of the different cleans that we've done and you'll see it has the nice map for us right there, cleaning time and cleaning area. So very detailed and thorough with a lot of settings all within the more features section.